Hello everybody, Brian here from QuantLabs.net for the day of November 28, 2017, new chart here. I've done these before. Um, this one's for Eurochart analysis uh, for uh, yesterday, just a few hours ago. <laughs> or, yeah, it's today. Anyways, um, we can download the attachment, Eurochart zip, so that will um, enable you to basically look at charts um, like so. So we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. And essentially, let's talk about the source of the data. Uh, what we need to do is when you do a search for a, a, a file, which is um, seasonally adjusted total sector for the economic sentiment indicator. These are consumer and business surveys sent out so if you do a search for on Eurostat uh, sorry Europa.eu you should be able to find this uh, data source and from there how it looks is um, basically just pull up the uh, proper file okay so this would be the file here it's an Excel file and basically what it is, it's a fairly big file. Um, let me just confirm. So all the data is monthly. As it says, forward-looking data, October 2017. And this is how it works. So essentially, all the members that are listed in the Eurozone, uh, for now including UK, as they negotiate out after Brexit, um, each country has its own code. As you can see here, there's an overall Euro Europe um, settings, the EA for the Euro area, and then it goes Belgium, Bulgaria, Czech, Republic, Germany, Denmark, and so on and so forth, all the way down to UK. Um, and then in there, each uh, sector is broken out by industrial confidence indicator, uh, service indicator, consumer confidence indicator, retail trade indicator, and building uh, construction indicator. So all of these help you analyze where there's strength and weaknesses in each of the euros and each of these column sectors. So as you can see here, everything's broken up. So in this case, we have the EU um, where we have monthly, I don't know when this starts, but it goes back uh, since 85 here um, and it, goes back to the last month it's done monthly as I said for looking data which is good um, so we have here the different ratios or scores um, for the different uh, areas within the euro in this case or Europe we have industrial services construction retail building and the overall economic sentiment indicator score so in our case, we have DE, which we know is Germany, based upon those codes I showed you, the country codes. Um, we know here's a score for uh, Germany's industrial, Germany's services, construction, retail, building, or construction sentiment, as well as the overall uh, uh, economic sentiment indicator, better known as ESI. So when you download that zip file, what you get is... Um, the charts of each one of those breakdowns. So we'll go through each one fairly quickly. Um, I'm going to look for some signs of weakness and so on and so forth. Uh, this may take a while, but it will give you an overall synopsis of how each country is doing in these different um, sectors. So first, uh, let me just go over the country code. So if we got AT, um, AT, which is Austria. Okay, so, you know, these charts are nothing extraordinary, but you can see here, since 2010, we go back um, about seven years. You can see we here we, we're hitting economic highs for Australia building. Uh, consumer sentiments jumped up. Um, the overall ESI for Austria is good. Uh, industrials 
uh, is pretty strong. I think just overall how the economy's performance has been pretty good. Retail's down. I'm not sure if they're impacted by Amazon, who knows. And the services industry, doing pretty decent as well. Now we move to Belgium, doing the building. Uh, it's just been flatlining all year. Construction has done okay. Hit a peak and now it's been flatlining. Overall ESI, just going nowhere since 2014. Industrial, again, flatlining. Uh, retail um, took a hit a little bit. Um, and services. So again, going nowhere on the long run. So let's look at bulk area. Um, construction's up a little bit, has tailed off. Building uh, is in a strong trend for, for uh, since 13, which is not bad. Um, the overall ESI for the country, it's a little bit of rising. Industrial, um, up the retail. Uh, well, it's a little hard to say. It took a dip, come back, it has recovered. And trying to get back on course services um, okay so now we're looking for uh, CY so who's CY CY is Cyprus okay I'm sure Cyprus will be on oh, hit a peak its tail has been flatlining all year consumer uh, been on an upswing overall ESI has been on a fairly up, good upswing industrial upswing Cypress looking okay um, Pete and flatlining Cypress services took a hit came back um, that may be hmm, I wouldn't know that explain that one so here we have uh, CZ, which is, I believe, Czechoslovakia. Yeah, let's check Czech um, Republic. So let's check the building. Dipped, recovered. Construction, flatlining. Overall ESI, flatlining overall. Industrial, uh, flatlining. Retail mm, services on a little bit of that's probably its strength right now. So now we do Germany building very strong upswing. This consumer index has took a hit, came back later in the year, throughout the year. Overall indicator ESI is not bad, trending up. Industrial should be pretty good. It's pretty strong over the last year. Retail, uh, coming back, but overall flatlining. Services uh, has declined a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do Denmark building. Uh, somewhat an upswing. Consumer took a hit, has come back, but starting to flatline again. Uh, ESI um, uptrend somewhat. Industrial, mm, that's choppy, but it's re it has recovered since 2014, let's say. Retail, downward slide, but kind of a nice increase there. Uh, services, um, flatline over the last, since the beginning of the year. EA, we're not going to go into, I think EE is Estonia. Okay, let's check out this okay so it did have an upswing historical and it's coming back off consumer steady Estonia has done fairly well ESI overall is trending up uh, industrial up retail has been pretty well flat since 11 Services, a trend from 15. So now we're doing EE. I believe that's Ireland. Oh no, that's still Estonia. Okay, so we have the last one of, uh, yeah, so it's been trending up. 
not quite at the, pe the peak there, but it's a good sign. So the next one we will look at is EL. That's Greece. So Greece may be a surprise. Building took a hit, has come back a little bit. Consumer coming back. We can see the big drop there in 15. Overall ESI. Uh, it's coming back a little bit off. Um, industrial uh, high in the near high uh, since 14. Retail took a little dip, may recover services. Wow, it's come back and it's at a peak in since 2010. Not bad. Uh, EL. Uh, sorry, that's ES is uh, Spain, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there it is. ES is Spain. Okay, so Spain is starting to hit historical. Hi there, construction. Not much has been going on. Overall ESI is coming back near historical highs. Industrial, not much been going on since sometime in uh, 15. Retail, again, not much going on there. Slight decline. Services, uh, steady little increase. So everything's in services where the growth is. So. Overall, we have the EU. Um, we'll look at that in a minute. Let's look at uh, Finland. Uh, so we got quite a few more. Finland can be surprisingly good. So it's been not going anywhere in the building, construction. Wow, sudden rise there, historical highs. That's a good one. So again, ESI overall has been doing good. So if you know that the construction is doing well, you want to invest into Finnish construction companies as an example. Industrial, again, yeah, Finland's doing good. Retail, maybe not. Oh, retail's coming back, has dropped off though. But again, this is a sign, this is an, probably an early warning sign of how the uh, economy is starting to go down. It did take a hit here, but came back. But this may be an early warning sign of Finland's uh, overall economy. Services steadily up, which is good. Now we will do France. Okay, wow, look at that recovery. Wow, it's at an econo economic high, and that's building. Uh, consumer, a little bit off, fine. Again, we can say that's at forward looking. The ESI overall is not looking, coming down. Industrial is coming down. Retail, well, it's not going anywhere. Services, up a little bit, but nowhere close to the historical high. All right, so now we are going to do HR, which may be, what's, what's HR? Um, HR is Croatia. Croatia might be an interesting one. Okay. Yeah, they're in a boom since 2014. Construction, flatlining, or sorry, consumer, ESI. Wow, it's like like these are the sort of things you want to see on a fast growing economy. Um, but I think it's hit it's a, it's a historical high. Uh, industrial again. This would have been a good time to get in into Croatia retail. Not much been going on there. Uh, slight increase, no problem. Now we look at Hungary. Yep, they're, they're doing good, the building at least. Consumer, eh, little slight uptick. ESI overall, a little bit of a trend. A uh, little slight up. Retail, nowhere since 14. And services. Boom. Now the other thing we can do with Ireland, it looks like, is construction. Um, so it's hit its peak and it may not recover. Now, I bet you if we look at IE, which is Ireland, just to confirm here, uh, IE being Ireland. Uh, 
So here you go. So there's non-applicable, only they're reporting construction for some reason. Don't know what's going on there, but just I wanted to confirm that. So uh, Ireland's construction, flatlining. Okay, so we look at now Italy building. It's slightly up for Italy. That's pretty good. <laughs> Consumer coming back, slight decline, but may be coming back. ESI overall, slight up. Uh, industrials up a little bit, hitting its historical high there. The retail's not bad, but as I said, for industrial in Italy, it's hit a historical high since 2010. Uh, services, I don't believe, uh, flatlining again. So now we are going to look at uh, LT, which I think is Lithuania, which it is. So, Lithuania, LT, yes, Lithuania. Okay, building, this should be, oh, so they, they went through a big peak and been kind of going nowhere. Um, consumer, same thing. Be, here Between these two, you can see when the economy grew and just hit a peak, and I mean, it's hit at historical highs, which is good, but there's no further growth. Again, a slight increase, slight trend up, consumer, uh, ESI, again, same thing, not going anywhere. Industrial, not much going anywhere. So uh, retail, again, uh, not much. Services, no slight came back, but it's maintaining its historical highs, which is good. But it's, there's just no growth. Uh, LU, um, so we're looking at now Luxembourg, okay. See how little Luxembourg, it's probably the wealthiest uh, country in the Eurozone. So we're gonna look at building on a big uptick, but now it's come back down. Um, Consumer has been up. Um, the ESI overall is at historical high. Industrial a little bit. Building has come back. But again, it's maintaining those um, maintaining those highs, those, those historical highs. Same here, took a bit recovered. So uh, now we want retail, and it's kind of been not going anywhere. Oh, it's Latvia. So industrial. So Luxembourg industrial. That's as far as we can get. It looks like I think we've already talked about that. So the next one is LV, which is Latvia. Um, yeah, Latvia. This one should be okay. Building, historical high, coming back. Um, consumer dipped, came back. ESI overall. Again, going nowhere. It's now reaching historical highs. Um, industrials up a little bit. Retail. Not going anywhere. Services, again, not going anywhere. MT, Malta. Historical high, took a big dip, came back. Construction up a little bit, slight trend up. ESI is not bad. Industrial, not hitting its peak. Retail, down a little bit. Services, uh, flatlining. Okay, so now we are doing Netherlands. Okay, so, wow, Netherlands is up on a big tear. So Finland and these guys are doing well. Netherlands and and uh, Finland are probably the two best. Doing well there for uh, for ESI. Industrial up a little bit. Retail up a little bit. Services up a little bit as well. So PL is Poland. Wow, Poland's on a tear as well. Consumer sentiment's up. Wow, these are the sort of runs you want to see. And they've been going since uh, 2013. Um, 
ESI, again, not bad. Industrial, not bad. Retail is kind of there at historical. Services, uh, it's down. So the big thing is construction for Poland. PT is uh, Portugal. So look at the building on a good tear there. Consumer, not bad. So both building consumer consumption, uh, consumer sentiments doing good. So maybe that's some of these economies or countries are doing well in order to um, invest based upon these videos. Portugal, uh, industrial, same again. Retail, flatlining. Services, not much, but they are maintaining those historical highs. Now we do Romania, a little bit. Consumer, a little bit. Uh, ESI is up a little bit, but maintaining those historical highs. Industrial, again, going nowhere. Kind of mm, coming off and a little bit. Uh, services, slight trend up, but you can see clearly who's doing well. Okay, Sweden, let's see how they're doing. Pretty good on an upswing. Uh, down a little bit. Uh, slight uptick for the ESI industrial. Slight uptick trend. Retail. Not as strong as it could be. Uh, services. Not as strong. Um, but Finland's doing fairly well, Netherlands as well in that region. SI, okay, let's see what we got with SI. Slovenia, now this is probably another strong economy building. Seems a lot of countries are doing well there, like this guy on these. The consumers feeling pretty good. ESI's at historical highs in 2010. Industrials, eh. Retail, mm, slight up. It's very volatile, you can tell. Services is up slightly. Okay, so SK was Slovakia. Okay, up a little bit. Historical. Construction, up a little bit. Um, trending a little bit. Industrial, kind of going nowhere. Retail, uh, slight up, but not, not hitting anything. Uh, again, slightly down, I'd say. Okay, last one, UK building. Um, flatlining, going nowhere, but it's up quite a bit. Consumer, down. So what UK Brexit's been doing to the overall economy. ESI's down, not too bad. Industrial uh, has slightly come up, come back down. Retail down, and UK services is definitely down. So they're not looking too pretty either. So we know the countries that are doing well: uh, Finland, Nor uh, Netherlands, uh, some of the some areas, parts of Poland's doing okay. And I believe Estonia was not bad. A few Eastern European zones. So this is the sort of thing we can do. Hopefully enjoy it. It can help you identify some good strong ten trends uh, at the low end, as you can see. Top of, uh, you would be able to see some shorting opportunities as well. So hopefully you'll find this useful. Later.